people more powerful than me are telling me to do it, I instantly don't believe them. Okay, do you understand that that just makes you a sheep of the other herd, right? Of what herd? If there is a shepherd and he says all the sheep go left, you can either choose your own path or you can go right because he told you to go left. You understand you're being so just being as nice controlled, right? So who's controlling me? The, the, guy, the people that you don't like. All I ever hear you guys talk about are cars, mansions, 30 hoes, why? Word. Because that's dope. That's like, do you understand that's that when you talk about like a spiritual void, do you think that a spiritual void exists today in the Western world? Yeah, I believe in God. Okay, when you talk about those things, those are the exact types of journeys that lead you to the spiritual void. Okay, You're the male Kim that's Kardashian, that's the whole point. I'm the male Kim Kardashian? Yes. If you had a daughter and a guy like you came up to that daughter, would you let your daughter date that guy? If your daughter was 18 and Andrew Tate came up to her and when he's 40 years old, would you let your daughter date that guy? You wouldn't. You're not putting out into the universe the type of energy I mean, to get the type of woman that you want when you're in your late 20s. My channel just got, uh, I don't know if you heard, um, I just, I had a copyright strike. It's gone. It's gone. YouTube reviewed the content. They said it was nudity yesterday and I had a strike on my channel. First thing, and Destiny, I'm gonna tell you this for, I got a warning on my channel for Coco, for some Kobe misinformation, a bunch of horse Are shit. In front of Are you and now I got, a, I got a, then I got another warning. <laughs> I got a warning for nudity yesterday. And I, there was no nudity. I had a shirt on, I was doing push-ups. And right. they took it down for nudity, um, but I think it was because the title of my stream was SMD Susan, but SMD can mean anything. What if I was saying so much danger, right? I'm just, I'm, what the fuck, Susan? So much danger, Susan, I yeah. care about you. It's a safe space for us all. Yeah, yes, yeah. absolutely well, based. So, me, so me, are you not willing to accept the fact that the establishment wants you on YouTube? Say it again? The are establishment, you somebody's pulling for you back there, some dude. Yeah. Uh, no, well, I have people like behind the scenes like that that are helping me out. Oh, so you are the establishment. You're the you're the man. You're the guy. Yeah, you're, you're part of it. You got connections within the establishment that enable you to do what you want to do. Yeah, but you, you know what you're saying is is horseshit, right? You know that's not true. This is the, they they have a strike on my channel for nonsense. That's wild. What was the nonsense? What did you say? What was the Kobe uh, Kobe uh, misinformation? Kobe, I don't even know. They they didn't tell me, and I I didn't know about that policy. So, um, I, mean, I can't see your camera. But oh, I, I, don't, I, don't have I, camera. I don't know exactly what I said, but that, that's a bunch of horse shit. And like, Destiny, it's good. It's nice to see you again. But isn't that enough for you to be like, OK, clearly we shouldn't trust the government. Clearly, we shouldn't trust the programming. If you talk against it, they give you a warning for misinformation. Right. Right. Holy I think shit. it depends on what you say, but I, th I think it's a valid. It does. It does. But, but you know what? Right now, I think Destiny watched some of your clips. He had some disagreements. I don't know what those disagreements are, so I'm going to be the you know the the middleman, and I'll let you guys kind of. So, Destiny, what were some of the disagreements that you had with some things that Sneeko said? Well, first of all, how are we doing tonight, guys? How's everybody? How's everybody doing? Fantastic. Hey, I feel great. I was already. I started a new channel called Sneeko Unplugged for my backup, and hey. then I saw that shit. And I'm like, bro, we up, we back up. I was panicking last night, man. I was all sad. I, I wasn't able to stream. I had momentum going crazy. And then yeah. to see that you know, it was just like so disappointing. But like to see that email, oh, after reviewing your content, you are back on. It's just like, <laughs> feels great, feels great. Yeah, yeah. fuck the establishment. So, so, um, so no, no, yeah, Destiny trust the establishment. So love the establishment, establishment's good. Okay. All right. So, Destiny, what, what was the first point you wanted to raise? Because we don't want to just do a bunch of niceties. So go for it. Uh, it. Everything. My problem is everything. Okay. Sneeko. Yeah, what's up? Um, first of all, uh, mad props to talking to people who disagree with you. That's really cool. Um, last chat was fun. Um, yeah, I want to be... It made me think a lot. That, that debate, I, I would say, like, you had better points to me and yeah, that's clearly good. that's all right i got the man he's talking my ear listen i don't care that last debate that was over the autistic shit okay we're done with that now we're getting spiritual okay you ready uh sure yeah okay <clears throat> what is your goal when you're talking to i guess young men in your audience what are you trying to get across what do you want them to wake feel? them up i want them to i want them to realize that they're trying to stifle masculinity they want to freedom of speech is dead and all the programming going on, all the woke movement, all this bu bullshit. I like even right now in the email I'm reading, like we want YouTube to be a safe place for all. YouTube used to be fun. YouTube used to be wild. It's the internet. It shouldn't. Why are we relying on YouTube to like be the teacher pet, like to to moderate and like tell us what's right and wrong to decide misinformation and correct information? It's nonsense.
That's that already should be a red flag to men to be like, okay, if they're telling me immediately, I've always said this on my stream. If they hide it, then it's the truth. If they have to delete it, then it's the truth. Like if they do, if they give me a warning for Coco misinformation, that shit is true. Okay, let's oh. talk about your brain for a second, okay? How do you know if what you know is right or wrong? How do you audit your thoughts? What happens if you believe something that's not true? How do you figure that out? I talk to people. Nope, I mean, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. Because you could talk to people that reaffirm whatever you believe. You might have that friend group that just reaffirms to, everything I you believe. I talk to all different types of people. I talk to you. you don't, we don't agree. Did you I'm change your mind you. about anything we talked about last time? That nope, so that's so nope, so that ain't it. So tell me, how do you audit, how do you audit your thoughts? How do you audit your thoughts? You have you have an idea. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Dustin, let him finish his thought. Yeah, you asked me a question. I didn't fan, I didn't I I need to have more facts to back up my points. I need to have more like concrete evidence to bring forward in a debate. I can't just go based off of like this. Let's say that you don't run into anybody that, that challenges you on a thought. Right? What do you well, do? How do you true. know I, I do. I do. On every, you can't run into somebody that challenges every single thought you have about everything. I do. I, that's why I stream. That's like, there's a chat that right here all day long. If you're like, like all online, people check me constantly, constantly. Anything how do you know? Say, okay. Let's up. say, let's say that is the case. How do you know who's right? You, you never really know, I guess. No. So that's your world. That's what you're selling to people. You can't know if you're right. You have no idea. Based on your logic. Yeah. But I think, no, no, this ain't my logic. Truth. I can answer my, I'm going to, every time I ask you a question, I'll tell you my answer. Okay. Cause I, that's not my logic. I'm asking you What's your point? that there is no, there, there I don't have a point at all. I'm asking you because I hear you say a lot of shit. I know where a lot of it comes from because I've heard it from other areas of the internet. And I always hear these same types of things. I don't want to be a sheep. I'm woke up to the truth. I figured out reality. But the reality is, is that you went from a sheep from herd A and now you're just a sheep in herd B. And I'm trying to get you to figure out how can you know if you're being, I'm trying to get you to, hold on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get you to figure out how to know if you're a sheep or not. That's what my question is to you. Frozen. Your camera's frozen on Discord, by the way. Me? My camera's not frozen. It might be laggy on your end, but I'm fine. Okay, okay, so so just to be clear, Dustin, you feel like you went from a sheep on one end. What is the sheep he's in now? What, yeah, what, what, what is he a sheep to now? The red pill sheep. That's a big sheep. It's a big it's a okay. big game. It's a ploy. And it's a okay. not only is it not only what? is it a ploy, it is the it is leading you it's exactly to where you're trying to lead people away so from. So who's controlling me? Who's controlling me? You believe in the government, you believe in, in a booster shots and all that nonsense. Who am I listening to? I never said I believe in the government, but it sounds like you're listening you to. Do. It you sounds said like you trust the government. You said you oh, trust the government. Oh, oh, I said oh, I trust oh, the oh, process, oh. but it sounds like you're listening to people on TikTok, like Andrew Tate. You're listening to whatever I alternative. I don't even go. I don't have the, the app TikTok. You, you've okay. never oh. heard of? Yeah, what? I don't. Let me just let, 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 let me just bring it back because I think you guys were onto something before, and we're going on something else. So you wanted to understand how Sneeko's brain works in regards to how he comes to his conclusion, how he went from one point to the next, right? How we went from. Uh, whatever gets him to his thought process. So we let's just go back to that and then we'll move on to why we think what we think. So bring that question back, Desi. Can you bring that back? Yeah, I just, I want to know how you audit your thoughts. How do you know that you're not just following somebody blindly into some dumb shit? Because I don't follow anybody blindly. I don't listen to anybody. There's nobody telling me to say anything. I don't trust. Okay, here, then we'll do, we'll do. Than me. I don't, I don't sure. follow anything. Okay, we'll do I'm, a concrete I'm example then. With concrete example then. When it comes to wearing masks, how do you know if that's a good idea or not? Because if people more powerful than me are telling me to do it, I instantly don't believe them. Okay. Do you understand that that just makes you a sheep of the other herd, right? Of what herd? If, of if, what there, herd? if there is what, a, if there is, sheep to? yeah, I'm telling you, if there is a shepherd and he says all the sheep go left, you can either choose your own path or you can go right because he told you to go left. You understand you're being so just as controlled, say, right? So who's controlling me? The, the, guy, the people that you don't like. When you do the opposite of what they say, they have just as much control over you no, as they do the other people. Because my whole life I've not been wearing a mask. So how do you determine? How do you? Life. Well, I'm asking you a question. How do you <laughs> that's, determine? That's not following anybody. You are. I'm asking you a question. How do you determine whether or not you should wear a mask? Because I like breathing. I, I don't want to cover my face. I like to talk and I like to hear. You can breathe with a mask on. You don't have any, do you see, yeah, see hold worse. on. Worse. Yeah, okay, worse. So it's not it's worse. It's annoying and it makes me sweat and it's uncomfortable. So I'm not going to put on something that makes me uncomfortable and that's unnecessary to me. I didn't okay. wear it and I'm fine. Okay. So, so look at where we are. Okay. So let you me. Got the, you got the V word. Uh -huh. you're, you're still this. I didn't. I'm the same. Okay, okay, so let's back up a little bit, right? So the correct answer was 
I decide whether or not to wear a mask based on the data I've read, the studies I've gone over, the articles I've read, that's the right answer. I've seen enough information to point me one way or another. This, everything else that you're saying is a cope. You can't breathe? Are you, are you oxygen retarded? What do you mean you can't breathe with a mask on? Motherfuckers are out here running marathons with three of them on. Like, how, how is it possible that you, that you can't breathe with a mask on, right? You've that's got mean, people that are doing shifts I I for 20 more. hours. It's, it's you've got, you've, no, no, let me finish, okay? It's uncomfortable. Seat belts are uncomfortable. Okay, going to the doctor yeah, is uncomfortable. Okay, there's a lot of things in life that are uncomfortable. That's not a reason not to do it. That's not a reason for a I man not, hold on, hold on, whoa, whoa, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. You can't be going, you, hold on, yeah, hold on, yeah, chill, chill. Okay, yeah, when you interrupt me, it's because you know I'm right, okay? You're trying to cut me off because you know that I'm taking you somewhere that you don't want to go, okay? We're gonna go to those places today, okay? You're a little heated right now. I'm not heated, no, no, I'm just, I'm just no, no, I'm not heated. I'm just matching your, matching your, I'm matching your energy, okay? A man, a man, wear a mask, go ahead, A man that interrupts another man is a man who's scared about where he's being led, okay? Explore with me, okay? If you want to wear a mask or not, that should be something that you arrive at through your own independent thought process, not because somebody else tells you not to, okay? That's what a 16-year-old does. I think you can do better than that. Okay, well, the government's telling you to wear it, so you're just doing, you're echoing and doing what they're telling you to do. I'm not doing it because the government tells me to do it. I can do it because there are independent schools all over the world that do research on whether or not wearing a mask helps. That's what I can look to for my information. They're also right? telling you to wear it. They Who, say, I don't wear care what the government says. I'm not a sheep, so I'm not looking at what the government says. You don't care what the figure. government says? I'm not, I thought you I'm, trust them. I'm I thought looking, you trust the process yeah, I of the trust government. the process of, of, of some of the things involved with the government, but that doesn't mean that I do it just because they say to do it. There are things the government could tell me to do that I would disagree with. That's possible. Government could say some shit, and I look into the data on my own, and I go, you know what? I actually don't agree with this. I'm not going to do that. Sometimes okay, so I go I 75 wear... and a 65 on the interstate, you know? I break the rules sometimes, you know? Okay, badass. But look, I don't wear it, and you wear it. Why are we both fine? For a variety of reasons. What do you mean? There are people that go their whole lives drunk driving every single night, every single weekend, and they're fine. Does that make drunk driving a good idea? Is that how you well, evaluate? That's why I don't wear it. If, is I that... don't need to, it makes me uncomfortable. It makes my face weird. It just makes yeah. me sweaty and stuff like that. It makes my glasses fog up. I don't like it. I feel like a dumb bot. That's great. It's stupid. And it's cheaper. To, and it's cheaper. And it makes no sense. Most of the places you wear a mask, like you go into a restaurant and you're wearing it, then you sit down, take it off. You're sitting on a plane. Everyone has to wear it, and then we all eat at the same time, breathing all over your food. It makes no sense. There's no consistency with it. It's, 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 it's just. Hold it's on. just a sign of compliance. Can I just sign ask one question? Can I just ask one question? Yeah. Just, just yeah. out of curiosity, um, if, if if Destiny is basically raising the point that this is good for our safety, this and that, and you're saying it's an inconvenience, I don't want to do it. Can you acknowledge that people wanting to do it for their safety is not unreasonable or bad? Or do you say it doesn't? It's it's not a safety thing. It doesn't actually help you. I don't think it really helps. No, a cloth thing like it's just it's meant to show the other people like, I'm a good person, I'm doing what they're telling me to do, I'm, I'm morally when you're, when When you're standing outside and you have to sneeze, do you sneeze into the open air or do you put something over your face? I sneeze into my arm. Yeah, okay, why? So I don't get snot on other people. Sure, there's shit that comes out of your mouth all the time when you're breathing, when you're talking. You can look at videos of people that are breathing or that are even like, even that are talking and you can see the air coming out of their mouth. If you, if you ever looked up a video of this in your life, why do you think of wearing a cloth mask? Tell me, tell me this, how does wearing a cloth mask over your face make it hard to breathe because it doesn't let oxygen in or out, but you're saying it wouldn't block anything else coming out of your mouth. Molecules that are way larger. Literally a cloth over your mouth and nose, it, it makes it harder to breathe. Okay, if it's harder to breathe, you understand that oxygen, carbon dioxide, are orders of magnitude smaller than like viruses and bacteria and other molecules coming into your mouth, right? We'll have to argue about spiritual stuff. We'll, we'll get to, hold on, we'll get to the spiritual stuff. I'm just trying to show you that you have a really strong opinion about something that you're a sheep on. The government said one thing and you said, fuck you, government, I'm gonna do the opposite. Okay, hypothetical. Who, who's controlling me then, Destiny? Who am I? Sheep? I don't. I don't know. I don't know who you watch on you YouTube. Can I can't tell. I can't tell who you're watching. You. I don't know. No, so but I'm telling you. No I don't call me a sheep. If you can't tell me who I'm following, then I'm not a sheep. That's well, no, no, no. You know how I, I don't have to know who you're following to tell if you're a sheep. I just have to know your thought process. If somebody comes in and they tell me I think the number seven is the best number in the world, and I go why, and you're like, uh, well, um, you know, some guy said that seven sucked, and uh, you know, I just, uh, you know, I like seven. I don't. I already know that dude. He heard it from somebody else. Because if you really liked the thing, if you were really into a thing, and if you really felt strongly about a thing, when I ask you about it, why the fuck don't you wear a mask, right? You'd have some shit like I don't know. The New England Journal of Medicine they did a study on it. N equals five hundred didn't fucking help. You know, I've known a hundred fucking different doctors. They don't wear that shit. It didn't help. I, like. That would be your answer, but you don't have an answer because in your mind, you heard it from somebody that gave you an answer that you liked that the government didn't give you, and that's why you jumped on it. That's a sheep answer. This It is. 
But you're, you're not telling me who I'm a sheep to. I don't oh, know okay. who you're a sheep to. That's not my sure. job. I'm not your dad. I'm not here to figure out who you're a sheep to. I'm just here to figure out if you're a sheep or not. That's all I'm trying okay. to figure okay. out. Let me ask a question. Hold on. Can I ask a question? Sam, you also have to admit that that makes no sense if you can't tell me who I'm a sheep to. I, I, well, it makes perfect sense. I, I don't know how to explain it to you. I can't tell you who's leading you around. I can just tell if you have a leash on. That's all I can okay. say. Like, I, Okay. Let me let me, ask a question. Let, me okay. let me ask a question. Sneeko, if, if the government came out tomorrow and said everybody stop wearing your masks, are you going to do what the government says? I was already not wearing it. I just would rather breathe without restriction. So so uh, my, my question is earlier you said that if the government's telling you to do something, you're not going to do it because it's probably bad. Yeah, if it makes me uncomfortable, if it's making my breathing worse and the government's telling me to do it, I'm like, and I'm not going to listen to them. Okay, so the issue is not that the government necessarily told you. The issue is that it makes it's you uncomfortable. uncomfortable. It's dumb. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so if the government came out tomorrow and said, "Everybody, stop wearing your mask. You don't need the mask. We won't be good." You're gonna, you're 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 gonna you're gonna listen to what they say because it doesn't make you uncomfortable. Okay? Well, I was already not wearing it. Okay. All right. Just wanted to clarify. Okay. So circling what, back then for the final the time, and then we'll get we'll, the we'll, we'll we'll get spiritual. I'll circle back a final time. If somebody tells you a thing and you talk to three or four people and they all tell you the same thing, you don't have any way to know if you're being lied to or not, or if you're caught in a bubble of people that all believe the same shit. You don't have a way to check your thoughts to see like, do I really believe this thing or not? Is it really a good idea? Is it like, do I actually understand what's going on? And, and then if you- I'm not if, in a bubble. Okay. I'm, I'm very clearly not in a bubble. I'm here talking to you right now. Gotcha, I, okay. I debate people on a regular basis who disagree with me. Okay, well, here, so here are, two, here are two things that I do, and then your audience can take it or leave it, you can take it or leave it, whatever, okay? The first question, the most important question is, what would it take to change your mind? That is the number one most important question. If you don't know what it would take to change your mind on any topic, then you're a sheep. What would it take to change your mind about masks? If I got really sick, if I was dumb walking around, if I was sick right now, if I died, if I was like in the hospital because I had respiratory problems and all this nonsense, but all these people who got the V word are still like biting. So guys. that's it. It, it. Whether or not you get sick, that's the, whether or not you get sick is the only determining factor. But you just said yourself, people that wear masks get sick. So you could get sick too without wearing a mask, right? That's not even a good answer. I'll tell you the second thing, okay? You can think about that one. The second okay. thing is you should look for information that is contrary to what you believe. Don't just ask people I, I, because I, if you I'm ask people, right what? I'm talking to you right now. Sure, that's true, that's true. Okay, those are the, those are the two things that I would say, okay. Getting, get, so moving yeah. past this topic. It's, Don't try to like say that I'm in a bubble because Destiny, very clearly I'm not in a bubble. Well, the thing is, because of the world you've built for yourself ideologically, everything that I tell you, you can safely ignore. You've, you've got, you wrapped yourself in this blanket where you're like, yeah, he's just telling you, you stuff that everybody else says. Yeah, I know. See, look at how, look at how easy, do you see how easy, do you see how you easy your life is? Look, do you, under, do, you, do you see how weak your mind is, right? He's only saying it because he's only saying because everyone else is saying it. That's why it's wrong. I don't have to listen to him, right? That's a weak mind. Look, well, I already know what you're about to say. Like you're just echoing the left, like the government programming stuff. It's like, it's just predictable stuff that everybody here is who's listening to the chat has heard a billion times. Well, I yeah, but do you understand the problem? It's, it's, you tell about the mask, like what you're saying is predictable. Yeah, it's, it's predictable and you don't even have an answer to it. So what does that say about you? That says more about I you than it does about me. Everything you said. Your answer is that, that it makes it hard for me to breathe because it makes yeah. it so oxygen and carbon dioxide can't pass through effectively, but it doesn't block larger molecules like bacteria and viruses. You understand that makes no sense. It's one or the other. You can't do both. Okay, if it's so, so you restricted that you can't breathe, answer. then it must block a lot of shit coming out of your mouth and nose. Okay. Well, that's my answer. It makes it me uncomfortable, and it makes me sweat weird, and it fogs up my glasses. And yeah. It's just dumb. Seatbelts do too. Do you, I, I, do, you wear a seat, do you wear a seatbelt when you drive, or do you not give a fuck Actually, about that? I have this thing where you could put a seatbelt like thing you could buy on Amazon. This is like advice for the chat. You can get like a seatbelt thing on Amazon that it clicks in, and then it gets rid of the beeping sound. Okay, so you don't wear seatbelts either. Do you think seatbelts make you safer when you drive? There's some circumstances where a seatbelt actually restricts you and traps you inside the car. You can see accidents. There are some circumstances some where somebody could there, collision. Yeah, you get mad interrupting and I interrupt. Yeah, there are but circumstances you can, you can, where hold on, hold on, hold on, Destiny, let him finish. Yeah, go ahead. You can go get ahead. into a, a collision, and if you have a seatbelt on, then some you can get trapped in the car, and the car can catch on fire. But sometimes, if you're not wearing a seatbelt, there's instances where people have like have literally like flown out the uh, the windshield because they weren't wearing a seatbelt and they survived. But a seatbelt could trap you in there. What do you think is more common? Do you understand statistics or probability? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's more common, but it's uncomfortable and it's just- Do you I, I lock your car? Do you lock your car at night? Do you I think I'll be fine. I'm not asking if you're fine. I'm asking you to use your brain. Do you lock your car at night? Yeah. Why? You're not, gonna, you're not guaranteed to get robbed. In fact, probably most likely you won't. Yeah, but someone, it takes one second. It doesn't make me uncomfortable to lock my car. Wearing a seatbelt makes me uncomfortable. So if something is, uh, so you're here trying to preach to the masses how to be a successful man, how to be a masculine man, how to have integrity, how to be a, a, a good upstanding person in the world. 
and you're telling me you won't wear a seatbelt because it makes you uncomfortable. That's your bar for, for acts and good behavior. If I see a cop, then I'll put it on. But other than that, like if it, maybe if I'm going really fast, then I'll buckle up. But if I'm just like doing 20. Hold on, I'm not asking. City, tell me, I don't need yeah. a seatbelt. You, so you put the seatbelt on for a cop. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, in like, yeah. okay, in 15 I, minutes, I, I have two friends that want to join this, Abba. Is that okay? Who, who, who are they? <laughs> Fucking Brittany Venti and Lauren Southern in like 15 minutes, if you want. They want to join this conversation? Yeah. I mean, hey, Sneeko, that's up to you. Oh, it's up to Sneeko. Um, is it like more white people who agree with what you're saying? No. Uh, one Unfortunately, of them is black, and then one of them is like a blonde girl. They're, uh, they're both hyper. She, she, hates, uh, she hates white people, though. Yeah, they're hyper conservative. Yeah, they're, they would probably agree with you. Yeah. Um, but it's up to you. I'll let you decide in like uh, fifth. Trust me, Sneeko, I, I wouldn't say this. If, if I thought they would be on Destiny's side, I wouldn't let them in. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't, care. I, I don't I don't really don't care. But Abba, what do you think? Do you were you were you also Abba, we talked on your stream and Destiny, do you hear about this? New York and LA is in a state of emergency right now yeah. because of the monkey. Yeah, is because of monkey. Exactly, parts. What does that sound exactly like? I think I, I, Hold on, wait, wait, wait. We're we're this, let's go back, okay? We're not gonna do the jump into fifty million topics, okay? Let's let's back up for a second, okay? What when, when you're talking to people on your platform, okay, and I hear you talk, yeah. so I hear this to ABBA, I hear things from Andrew Tate as well, a lot like this, okay? I hear you guys talk about what it means to be successful, what it means to achieve, what it means to accomplish things, and all I ever hear you guys talk about are cars, mansions, 30 hoes, why? Word, because that's dope. That's like, do you understand that's that when you talk about like a spiritual void, do you think that a spiritual void exists today in the Western world? Yeah, I believe in God. Okay, when you talk about those things, those are the exact types of journeys that lead you to the spiritual void. Are people pursuing Bugattis, mansions, and bitches? It is the most empty, that's, hollow life imaginable. That's not, that's not the end goal, but that's just something I want. It's no, 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 no. Hold like, on. The, it's not what's gonna make me be all and all happy. Like I want to have a wholesome life. I want to have kids. I want to have a good family. I want to just have a well-rounded, enjoyable life. And I don't think that's possible, like for the life I want, I don't think it's possible in the West anymore because people are so brainwashed. Yeah, but people you are brainwashing them, right? You're the one that's brainwashing, brainwashing them in that direction. How am I brainwashing them? Because you're telling them that they need Bugattis, mansions, and bitches I'm to be happy. I'm not I'm saying I want to get that and I'm going to get it. And a lot of guys, like I have a mostly male audience, they all want that too. And I know they yeah. want that because they play GTA all day. Sure. They play these video games all day and they watch Prawn all day. That's great. So of course they, of course that's they great. want 10 bitches in the mansion. That's fine. But that's not the goal. And I'm not sure. telling them they have to do that. Like I have Luke on my, on my stream all the time too and he, he just wants to have one wife. I'm not saying you have to do anything. I don't, I'm not telling people to do anything. I'm just saying my opinion. People don't follow me blindly. What you're doing right now. Watch your stream all agree with you. People who watch your stream all like, yes, take another booster. I can't wait for the, the monkey vaccine. It's just like, you know, you're, you kind of have an echo chamber of people who agree with you. I don't have an echo chamber of people who agree with me. It's flattering you think that. But what you are doing is you are doing to men what, uh, was it Nicki Minaj or whoever the fuck you brought up, Kim Kardashian, are doing to women. That's what you are nope. doing. It's the, it's the exact nope. same thing. I'm yep. self-improvement. I'm saying that guys, we need to go- Self-improve, you don't improve yourself by buying cars, houses, and fucking a lot of women. Well, you cannot buy a house, you cannot fuck a lot of women without becoming a better man. No. I'm telling men we need to go and get it. We need to improve ourselves. We need to focus on ourselves so nope. we can get to that point. No, nope. you don't have to be, you don't have to be, you don't have to be a good man to get a house, a car, or a lot of women. You just have to be rich or you know, or you have to know how to play the game. That's yeah, not being a good man. You, get, you have to improve yourself to get rich. You don't have to improve, you don't have to be, hold on. You can improve aspects of your business, but you don't have to be, I need you to understand this. You don't have to be a good man to get rich. You don't have to be a good man to get a house and cars. Those, these two you things have- independently? Yeah, you do. If you wanna like echo the programming and like be a part of the system, then no, you don't really have to. But if you wanna be independent and not listen to anybody, then you need to improve yourself because we wanna get rich by connections. We wanna get rich on our phone. We wanna get rich based off who we know. We wanna add value. To become, to add value and have people trust you and like be able to make sales, you need to be a better man. How do you, how do you get rich on your phone? Are you kidding me? Tell me. Streaming. Crypto, dropshipping, yep. e-commerce businesses. Streaming, crypto, drop you know what you just described? Only fans for men, right? You literally complain to ABBA, <laughs> all these girls, hold on, hold on, no, let me finish, you, let me finish, to the world. let me finish. No, you literally, let me finish. Let me finish. You just complain to ABBA, 
All these bitches are getting on OnlyFans trying to sell pics of themselves to do all that shit. Why is that bad? Because they're not working on themselves. They're not doing anything that makes themselves better. And now you're telling guys to download fucking Robinhood or go trade some shit coin in the hopes that they get fucking rich or they start streaming or they hop on TikTok or whatever. What? They're not improving themselves by doing that. You're not becoming a, you're not becoming, oh, let me finish. When you don't let me finish, it's because you're scared of what I have to say, okay? That's the only reason you do that. I understand. I know. That's okay. That's okay. You're, you're very scared. When you, when you, when you tell people that they have to pick up their phone and get rich, that's not self-improvement. You're not becoming a better person doing that. Okay, go ahead, Sigo. Okay. To start a business, you need to be a better person. And to compare, comparing an e-commerce business to OnlyFans is just goofy because you're selling your titties and you're adding nothing to the world. All you're doing is making other people sad and creating a fake relationship that makes people sadder. It makes the woman sadder because she's just a whore and it makes the men sadder because they're not, having, they're not gonna have an actual relationship. It's just a pretend really relationship in their head. It's making people worse. OnlyFans does not add anything to the world besides the dopamine rush for both sides. Starting an e-commerce business, adding value to the world by like sharing value, like that's making the world a better place. Okay. Me entertaining people online if I'm streaming, that's making people laugh and smile. That's making the world better. Funny is truth. If I'm sharing truth, that's adding value. How are you gonna compare titties to a, an online e-commerce business? E-commerce is you're leeching on affiliate links on, on, on trying to sell people products you're not even producing. What do you, how is e-commerce adding to the, how, let me like, finish, talking, let I me finish, money. damn, dude, I sell merch, I've got affiliate links, I understand how the game works, okay, I'm not an idiot, I live here, I've done this business for 12 years. E-commerce is not adding to the world, okay, number one. Trading crypto, that's not adding to the world. You're trying to out-speculate fuck some other dude, trying to out-speculate fuck some other dude so that you're not caught bag-holding when your fucking coin drops, okay? Crypto, 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 and, and, crypto and NFT, NFT is not adding to the fucking world. 99% of these coins come and go quicker than a fucking girl opens and closes a fucking OnlyFans, okay? Well, encouraging people to invest in crypto is good because it takes away the government's stronghold on currency. If we can decentralize currency and we could take the wealth in our own hands, we're adding value. You now can't. all the people, the, the government owns the currency that you're obsessed about. I'm telling people invest in crypto so you could take charge of your own money. You're not taking charge of your own money. You're paying off other people that are gonna fucking drop your shit and you're gonna lose everything. You're gonna get rug pulled and you're gonna have a coin that loses 99.8% of value. Dumb, like what's happened over and dumb. over. Yeah, if you're dumb, like most of the people that are gonna be listening to either of us. Most Why people aren't winners in crypto schemes. I fucked up in crypto too. I've lost money too and you learn from your mistakes. Here's a question. How can you, How? so do you think most people listening to you, do you think everybody can win in crypto? Yeah, if you apply yourself. Okay, when you buy crypto and then you sell it at, at more than you bought it for, how are you making money on it? Because someone else isn't. But everybody exactly. So hold on. So, so if one yourself. guy, if one guy makes ten times his money, that means for that one dude, ten other people lost their ass. Yeah, That's dummies. how it works. Dummies. So not everybody can win, right? You understand that? Not everybody can be a winner. <laughs> and we, I even talked about this with Abba. Abba said, not everybody can get rich. Everybody can get rich if you apply yourself properly, if you have the right mm -hmm. mindset, if you're smarter and you're better. So I'm encouraging people to become smarter and better. And don't be a dumb idiot. This is not my fault that I'm poor. It is. You're not, better. you're not encouraging people to get smarter or better. You're encouraging people to go on their phones and look for get rich quick schemes. That's what e-commerce shit is. That's what NFT and crypto shit is. No, it's not. I just shot my course, the creativity kit. And there I'm like, I share all the values and like everything that I learned on YouTube. I'm sharing information, adding value. It's not encouraging people to just get a get rich quick scheme. It's how do you add value to the marketplace? Okay. Let's say that somebody takes your course for four years. Tell me what they learn. Everything that I've learned from nine years of doing YouTube. Yeah. Talk to me about it. How do you add value to something? How to stay true to your word, how to make interesting videos, how to capture people's attentions, how to be funnier, how to not be self-conscious when you're vlogging in public, how to make videos that are more interesting than everything else you see okay. online. Okay, and out of all the how people that have taken your course, how many successful YouTubers have you spun out of it? It's been up for two days. Oh, okay. It's been up for two days. But a lot of everyone there, you could ask them, that I think they're watching right now, they're all really happy so far. How do you think that if there's a thousand people watching you and you produce a thousand more streamers, how is there going to be enough viewers for every single person? Not everybody will make it. That's obvious. Okay, that's the market. Sure, that's great. But okay, winners, so why are you saying lose. why are you saying now not everybody will make it, but earlier you were saying everybody can I make everybody it? Everybody can, not everybody will. Okay. How is that hard to comprehend? And Abba said the same argument. I think it's really dumb. Everybody can get it, but most people will fail. Yeah, Which the problem is that the problem is that you, you're obfuscating with that language. You're not, you're not selling reality to your audience because reality is anybody could, sure, but that anybody could is 1%. The other 99% are going to fail. 
That's what that means. So instead of talking about how people can get cars, houses, and bitches, why not focus on the things that actually give like spiritual fulfillment to people's lives? I don't die on my stream and we were How are you going to talk? Hold on. Don't, why would you even have God in your mouth while you're talking about fucking 20 women at the same time? That's not a congruent lifestyle. To you, but in Islam, you can have four wives. So I mean, are you, you Islamic? Islamic? Hold on. Did you say God or Allah? I'm sorry. Maybe I misheard you. Oh, okay. Those words mean the same you. thing. Can I just Those clarify words something? Wait, no, hold on. Wait, what do I need to clarify? I don't know how you want to pretend to talk about God. And then in the other oh, breath, you're talking about fucking 20 women. This doesn't work that way. In Islam, you can have four wives. I want to have you're not You're not Islamic and you didn't say four earlier. And I don't, and even well, in, Islam, in Islam, in Islam, that's not any not religion. True. That's not, hold on, hey guys, it's not true that you can just have 20 wives in Islam or whatever. You First off, you can hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The prophet would only take orphans or widows as his, as, as his extra wives. And that's where the example came from. And even then, they strongly discourage Muslims from doing that because Allah says that you can't love each woman equally. So they say, don't do it. So this whole thing that people turn to towards Islam is people who don't actually study the religion or know anything about it. So I just wanted to make that quick. And even if they did, that's for wives, not for bitches that you fuck, so, kick okay. out and then fuck new ones the next day. You know what I think the difference is between me and you is that you've had a lot of people who are just, who are coping and accepting and like, okay, accept complacency. I think there's a divide in the internet now for people who are ambitious and people who are complacent. Destiny, I think your audience is full of complacent people. People are like, I can't get rid this is a pyramid scheme this is a scam this is bad i'm gonna put on a mask and then my people are like bro i want to go get it so you can pick one yeah not everybody will make it but you can make it if you apply yourself it's that simple your path is the path of complacency your path is the path of spiritual and psychological weakness right Who am because I complacent to? because you're you're complacent to hustle culture right because if you were talking okay. to people and you wanted to make and build real men you'd be telling people either one go to school get a fucking education so you can get a real job or two at least go and do a trade or if you really want to start a business find some shit that you can offer that other people are willing to pay you money for because you can do it better for somebody else not not fucking e-commerce not spamming affiliate links on some oh, let me finish not spamming affiliate links on some fucking blog so that some dude gets tricked on clicking on it from a fucking instagram ad okay when you talk about complacency opening up 50 million TikTok videos and seeing people bragging about their seven cars while well, these guys are probably crying themselves to sleep at night because they don't have a single person that loves them in the entire fucking world. That's the complacent path. And that's the path of weakness. It's okay. literally, if you're going to talk about religious shit, that is literally the temptation of the devil. Flashing that's you the, like flashy shit and trying to say, if you go and buy this, if you get that, if you've got this many women like you, that's, that's the path to happiness. Come on, man. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I want that. I want all that stuff. Not that it's going to make me happy, but I want the capability to do whatever I want. I want to be rich enough so I can do that if I want to. That doesn't mean you're going to be happy. You need to be happy by like all the stuff that we all know. Family, close friends, being a good person. But I want I don't want anybody to hold me back. And see, people who watch your stuff, they're going to see videos of like cars and mansions and be like, oh, I'm never going to have it. And then the people who watch my stuff, they're like, bro, damn, I want to go get that. So you can choose to cry and see like, this is a scam. This hurts feelings. Or like, bro, how do I get it? I want to talk to that guy and learn what he learned. You don't spend any time on your channel talking about those other things like family, close friends, being a good person. I because I know, I because, I've, because I've watched some of your content. I've never heard you talk about like, Something. these are things. The, okay, I'm sorry. Do you have a lot of videos where you talk about this is how you be a really good friend? This is how you be a good yeah. person? Or is it obsessing yeah. over material possessions 99% of the time? If I were to ask your audience, <laughs> what is Nico? Good... Be obsessing. What? Being a good person is not something I need to explain. Oh, see, and that, and see, really this knows. is what I mean when I'm telling you that you are unfulfilled and you don't know what no, you're talking I, about. No, no, I, hold I, on. I, just I, by you I, saying, I, by you saying, by you saying being a good person is easy, that's not true. Being a good person requires more work than starting your own business. Being no, a good person requires more work than getting lucky on some shit coin, okay? So what do you think is being a good person, Destiny? Being a, being a good person means having honor, means being honest, means doing the right thing when it's difficult to do it. It might mean being reliable for your friends. It might mean having a job or providing for a family. Being a good person can mean a ton of different things in a yeah, ton of different contexts. Everybody context. knows what you said. Everybody knows that. Not I'm everybody does. Do you think most people are good people? Do you think I that think we have people. guidance in society right now to be good people? Or do you think that most of it is trying to tell us how to open a Robin Hood account to look for the right penny stock to get rich on? There's a lot of distractions for sure, but it's not, bro. This is I the see. distraction. The, well, you are, I'm telling you that you are the distraction from being a good person right now. That's, I'm, I'm distracting. I'm a bad person. And I'm encouraging bad people. Yeah, no, you're encouraging bad behavior. 
by telling people okay. that the path to happiness is lined with Bugattis, mansions, and bitches. How are you saying that that's my path? That's not what I'm saying. Because that's, that's what you're talking about. Listen to, what, listen to what listen to what your desires are. You're trying to pretend. So you're gonna, you get triggered by stuff like that. But I'm that's not triggered not at all, dude. I, I'm I know what the path to happiness is. <laughs> I'm not yeah, here. I've never said that you need to like have a Bugatti and like the material ops. Actually, I'm very anti-materialist. You are the <laughs> most materialistic. You're literally telling Abba no, like no. you're saying I see apartments and I want to own that. I want to get that. I want to own that. What do you mean? Why do you need to own that? <laughs> Make me happy. I want the cape. I want to be the master of my own universe. I don't want to be held back by you're anybody. not like oh, that's the person's better than me. No, I want to be the best person I can be and be able to buy whatever I want. You're it's saying you want to be the master of your own. Able to get it. You're saying you want to be the master of your of your own universe. But when you walk down a, a, a street and you look at buildings, those buildings own you. Do you understand that your whole drive in life is material? That's yeah. what's driving you. How are you the master of your own universe when you see something flashy and that's what's pushing you to earn more money, to open more e-commerce shops? That's not just what's, that's not just it. It's not materialism. It's also just the relationships and the way people are. People are distracted by Kim Kardashian, by Instagram, by TikTok. Yeah, you're the male Kim Kardashian. That's the whole point. I'm the male Kim Kardashian? Yes. Telling people that they need to, you got to start a business, you got to do e-commerce, you got to get 20 girls, you got to get the cars, you got to get the buildings. If you think that telling people to go get it and to hustle is being the male Kim Kardashian, then we just fundamentally disagree on life. What's the difference? That Kim Kardashian is encouraging, like you, you get famous for nothing, to be a thought, to just put on makeup and say nothing and you could be famous. I'm encouraging people to be the best version of themselves. Okay, be famous for nothing and being a thought. The male equivalent to that is saying, try to make a YouTube channel and be funny and trade crypto. It's the same thing, but for men. How do you not see that? That's not the same thing. That's not, that's adding value to the world. And you're it's not, not adding crypto. value to the world by buying and selling that's crypto. You're adding that's value to the world by making yourself a better person. Look, look, you're getting really triggered by the crypto thing. I'm not, I'm not triggered just, at all. <laughs> I don't know why you keep saying that. value to the world. It's bigger than crypto. It's adding value. A lot of people like get complacent and they go type essays and they go whine about other people's money. And I'm saying you need to add value. My way of adding value is being funny, is entertaining and talking on stream all the time. And I have a couple businesses. That's what I, that's what I know how to do. Not everybody's going to do exactly what I do, but I'm telling people to be the best version of themselves. Yeah, but you're not telling people to be the best version, versions of themselves by exploring and expanding on their own talents and exploring and expanding on their own personal relationships. You're telling them that the best version of themselves is some version of person that can buy houses, cars, and have 20 girls hey, fucking them. You, you said at the beginning of the conversation that if you're a good person, you're going to have a business and you're going to have a lot of girls after you. That's what you said, right? That's how you know if you're a good person. Or you tell me, how do you know if you're a good person? Because earlier you, you, you said you, you know you're a good person when you've got houses, cars, and girls. That's what bots think. That's what bots think when they see my content and other like male self-improvement content they're like these guys just care about cars it's not that the red pill is not just about women it's about knowing and understanding the truth of the world and acting accordingly so that you don't fall into the trap that a lot of people fall into oh, what is the scared of everything that the government tells us to be okay. scared about did you tell me earlier did you say i asked you how do you know if you're a good person and you said a good person is somebody that can buy houses cars and get a lot of women did you not say that a good person is a wholesome person who does the right thing the same stuff that you have has good friends is good to their family Okay, provide. I'm glad you got. I'm cool. I'm glad I got you to come around on that now. So a good person you, isn't somebody. On that, that's what I've always believed, and I've all. I say that all the time. I talk about God on my stream. How do you talk? Okay, well, let's do this. Okay, how do you have? How do you have God on your stream while you're talking about so many different women? How is that godlike? How do you expect, how do you expect, let's say that you do that. Let's say somebody gets your lifestyle, okay? And you get your 20 women up to your 25, 26, 27 years old. How are you just going to flip that off and then go and find one woman when that's what you've been putting out in the world? Because women could fall in, women don't care. You could have 20 women. Like, you don't think women care? The, the type of woman that, do you know which type of women don't care? It's the same type of women that you make fun of. It's going to be the Kim Kardashian clones. They're going to be the ones that don't care. That's not true. You think when, that's not true. you think that you can go from having 20 women through your 20s and then at 26 27 you're going to find like a woman that is spiritual that uh, that is looking for the same things in life that no, you are going to claim 20, 20 spiritual women what does that mean 20 spiritual women you how are you going to have 20 spiritual women collect them like pokemon <laughs> Okay. Well, I mean, if you if you want to meme, I mean, at least you admit you're wrong. Okay. Do you want? Uh, okay. I've got two other friends if you want to throw them in here. They're conservative. Why you think? What's wrong about that? The problem is that the energy that you're putting out in the world is the male equivalent of an OnlyFans star. You're the male equivalent of a Kim Kardashian. The the way that you're selling young men to go after happiness, you're just as much a cog in the capitalist system okay, as exactly. anybody. Listen to that. That's, if you want to improve yourself, if you want to start your own business online, if you want to be independent, you're a Kardashian. Sure, I'll, I'll, I don't. It doesn't really affect my message or what people think. Sure.
Okay, we're the man with Kardashian. What do you want us to be? You want to cover our face and take more shots? We're gonna have a lockdown for Monkey real soon. Is that is, is that is that is that is that? Do you, do you see how you're defining yourself and myself by like the two most common conspiracies that people talk about? That's like your whole fixation. When I'm going out into the world or when I'm talking to people, I'm trying to think: What makes you a good person? What makes you have virtue? How do you cut like a, a solid character inside of yourself when you're when you're carving out your virtues, right? I'm not thinking like, do I need another vaccine? And should I wear the mask? These are the farthest fucking thoughts in my mind. I'm not obsessing over what the last thing Alex Jones said or what the last TikToker said or what's trending on Twitter, right? There's more to life than that. You have to understand that. If right. masks are at the forefront of your mind, then the government has poisoned you, you more than anybody that steps on a bus with a mask on. <laughs> You started up the conversation with masks. You're, and you're the one that's bringing it up now. We're into spirituality and your spirit is covered with a, with a <laughs> giant fucking mask that says hustle every day on it. Yeah, that's what men need to do. Men need to keep providing. That's what makes men That's happy. not. That doesn't it's, make you a provider. How do you think you're going to be able to provide romantically for a woman when you're 28 if you've been sleeping around and fucking around for your entire 20s? You're not even going to know what a healthy relationship looks like. <laughs> Once you fuck a lot of women, you understand how they work and you get better with them. No, when, when you, you fuck a lot of women, you understand how to fuck women. That's the only thing you get. You don't know how to love no. a woman. You don't know how to take yes. care of a woman. In fact, you probably you probably know the opposite if you've been through that many. Yeah. Anybody will tell you no. that 100%. You think you're telling me, but if you found a woman that had fucked through 20 or 30 guys up to when she was 26 you think she'd know how to take care of you nope it's, it's different for men and women tell me why it's different why do you think it's different men can fuck as many women as possible because we can get as many women pregnant we can get 100 women pregnant today is that your goal is your goal to get 100 women pregnant I'm explaining my point before you get triggered a woman can only get pregnant triggered. once in a year that's why women are are wired to be with one man but a man is wired to spread your seed so you can be with as many women as possible and it doesn't change how you love a woman. I would encourage matter. you, you should talk to women, the kind of women that you want when you're 27, you should start talking to them now because they don't want to touch somebody like you with a I fucking do. 10 I foot do. pole. They would not want anything to do with you. If you go into a church, if you go into a church and you start talking to women in their late 20s and you say, what kind of a man are you looking for? They're not going to say, I want a man who could have fucked and gotten 100 bitches pregnant. That's the kind of man I want to take yeah, care of me. Women don't, know what they, women don't know what they want from a man. They don't know what to say. They just don't understand men inherently. And you think you have the answer to that? You think at 23, you figured out what women want? Yeah. How many? What's the longest relationship you've been in? Uh, two years. How do you, for a year. Okay, so you've been in one or maybe two relationships in your life. How do you think you already know what women want? I've been in, like, I've been in many, I've been maybe like 20 relationships. You, not real relationships. You can't have, you, you're 23, you couldn't what have been in. Real, what do you think a real relationship is? Like watching Netflix every night with your boo bear and like <clears> going on a picnic? A real relationship like your, is dealing with the ups and downs of life with a partner that you're committed to, not somebody that you meet Friday night to fuck. Shit. All right, keep talking. I don't understand how you think you can live your lifestyle and flip a switch at 27 and all of a sudden be the type of man that you want to be for the type of woman you want to get. You're going to be dating Instagram models and fucking them your entire life. Or you're going to be like no, Andrew Tate. You're going to be 38 on a live stream bragging about being able to fuck 18 year olds and that's going to be the rest of your life. Okay, since we're meat watching, that's not the, the women that I get in relationship with. I get in relationships with like good, like natural women. No, you won't. Good natural women don't want anything to do with you. You're toxic. You sound like a bitch, bro. Do you think? Do you think? You think a good woman's? You. I was another man calling him another man. Let's let's look. Let's look at. Let's look at. Let's look at conservatives. Okay. Do you think if if you had a daughter and a guy like you came up to that daughter, would you let your daughter date that guy? Yeah, I'm a good guy. A guy that said he's been with 20 women by the time he's 23. A guy that's looking for you. You would let that daughter date that guy. You're lying. You know you're lying. I have to ask, Sneaker, you would give your daughter to a man who has 19 other women? Wait. If he was a good guy, yeah. Really? No shot. That's yeah. the biggest cope. That might be the bi that's the bigger cope than the guy with 15 fucking booster shots that's going for a 16th one right now. That's the bigger that's cope. It. That's the bigger cope than the 82 year old getting the smallpox vaccine because he thinks he's going to get fucking monkeypox through the air. That's the biggest cope I've ever heard in my entire life. There's no shot. You wouldn't let your daughter near that guy. With would you let your daughter date somebody like Andrew Tate? If your daughter was 18 and Andrew Tate came up to her and when he's 40 years old, would you let your daughter date that guy? You wouldn't. You're not putting out into the universe the type of energy I mean, to get the type of woman that you want when you're in your late 20s. I'd rather she'd be with like a strong, independent man than a guy saying that guy's toxic. Why do you have to? Be, you you don't. You're not. What you're talking about isn't it? What you're talking about isn't a booster shot toxic do, guy. Do, like, that's toxic. I'd be more afraid of that. Yeah. yeah that you're back to the masks you you think about masks more than sheep do more than the no, government not, does 
You're, you're, you're like so fixated on it. It's like, the, it's like you're, it's not even a mask to you. It's actually a safety blanket. It wouldn't surprise me if you had a weighted blanket made out of like discarded masks. It's like keeping you nice. I just, just get me away from the mask you, guys, right? I wasn't talking about the mask. I was talking about the fact that you just called me toxic, which is some female shit that you just It's not female. I'm saying that if you're going through so many women at such an early age, you're not putting out the right energy into the universe to get the type of woman that you're telling me men should be after you should want when you get to your late 20s. I, I also have to say, Sneagle, most women who are pious and are religious, be it Christian or Islam, aren't interested in being one of 20 or one of 30. Yeah, absolutely they not. They conservative values, and it's not the way that they set things up. Do you understand that, or do you not believe that? Yeah, that's true. Right? And that's true. Also, I know you guys have been going at it for a bit, but when I hear you gloat about Andrew Tate or all these other guys, it's like you go on their Instagrams, you go on what they advertise, what they advertise are the bad bitches, what they advertise are the women with their titties out, what they advertise are the very women that they criticize or the kind of material wealth that you say is not the most important thing. But it's like their whole pool for young men is these things. Oh, I got all the women. I got all the baddest bitches. I got all the money. I got all this stuff. So when you say, oh, no, that's not what we're selling people on what makes a happy life. I have to look at you sideways because like that's literally what all the red pill guys sell. They have themselves in pictures with hot women and they have themselves with all the material goods in the world. So how are you saying that's not what we're pushing as like the antidote for happiness? I don't understand that. Instagram, but that's to catch people's attention. But that's overall not the end goal. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have to understand this, okay? Because I, I, I don't know. I, okay, hold on. I'm also, I'm being really me. I know I'm like blowing you out, okay? I'm, I don't mean to be that, but you, be you can take it, okay? You can take it. When, when, you, when you go through life acting a certain way, right? You are carving out like pieces of your soul every time you make a decision. Every time you fuck a new woman, every time you fuck somebody over to get a new business, every time you make a new fucking trade on your Robinhood account, because all you're doing is trading crypto to get rich, you are trading away pieces of who you are to achieve some goal. By the time you're 27 or 28, there's not gonna be any part of you left to go after the lifestyle that you say might be your ultimate goal. You can't say that you have goal A when you spend your entire life getting things from goal B. You can't just switch up in the middle like that. You're not building Building towards anything. You're gonna crash into a wall. By the time you hit 30, you're gonna realize you've spent your entire life building towards something that you don't even want. And by the time you do go over to the stuff that you do want, the people that are in that area that have been working at it since they're 20, they're not gonna to wanna to have anything to do with you. You're gonna be 10 years behind every person that you wanna associate with. I don't know why you get so mad about my lifestyle. I'm not, bro. hold on. You want I'm not mad about you, your lifestyle. If you, if you want to like a nice wholesome relationship with my wife, then go ahead. But I want 10 <clears> and I know a lot of people watch my shit want 10. I'm not, there's not enough I'm women in the world for every guy to have 10 girlfriends. I think it triggers you because- Why do you keep saying I'm triggered? I'm perfectly fine in my life. I'm not triggered at all right now. The only, if you want to say that I'm triggered, I'm not triggered about your life. What I'm triggered is that you are selling <laughs> You are selling OnlyFans for men. You are leading people down the same spiritually empty road. It's down the same spiritually empty road that Kim Kardashian is sending women down. That's what you're doing. Good point. You got him. Okay. I think that the fact that you're getting so triggered about like the alpha male stuff that you see on Instagram and TikTok is because deep down, every man kind of knows that like this is natural and you've given up on that. You've given up and you've trusted the government. You listen to what you're told. You believe it. You say words like toxic for other men. You you got programmed. And so I always see it for people like you in the comment section too and in the chat. They're like, what? and it's like the reason you're getting heated and triggered is because I'm tapping into something that's inherent. This is stuff that men, this Sneak biological out. for men, fucking a lot of women, taking as much as we possibly can, being the best version of ourselves, that's natural for men. And you hear, and at some point you gave up on that and decided to believe in the left-leaning bullshit and say words mm -hmm. like toxic and put on a mask. And then now when you hear somebody against your whole ideology that might challenge your whole worldview, the fact that you trust the government, you trust the programming, and someone's saying, no, that's pro, you're like, <laughs> but it's, you know, fine. You can stay programmed. I don't want to listen to them. What does it mean to you to be an alpha male? What does that mean? Alpha, that word doesn't really matter to me. But no, hold on, no, 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 don't run from it. Use. Tell me, talk to me about the concept. Run from because it. in okay. my, in my <laughs> mind, well, hold on, let me, in my mind, I have an idea of what an alpha male would look like. I know what that looks like, okay? So I want you to tell me in your mind what you're selling to your audience. What does an alpha male look like to you? I don't use that word. I don't like that. Yeah. Word. Just you literally yeah. just use that word. So tell me no. what. Okay, yeah. then what? Let's let's move away from that. What is the yeah. what is what is a what is a what is a man to you? I'm not. You're the one speaking a caps lock. Okay, I'm not triggered. Tell me what is a man to you? What is a successful man? What what is a what is the ideal version of a man to you? A man that could do whatever he wants to do and doesn't listen to anybody and creates his own world and is the master of his own universe. Okay, a man that can do whatever he wants to do and doesn't listen to anybody. Will you just describe as a 17 year old teenager?
Okay. That's what you just described there. Yeah. And then you turn 18 and then you gave up on it and started voting for Biden. Yeah. I turned 18. I gave up on because I had to become an actual man, right? A man can't do whatever. Hold on. A man can't do whatever he wants to do because if you're yeah, a man, yeah. no. Nonsense. No. Nonsense. So, okay. If you're a man, do you get responsibilities? Can you walk away from a house? Can you walk away from a family? Can you walk away from your obligations? Is that what a real man does? That's not what a real man wants to do. A real, a real man, man doesn't to want to have any obligations in his life. No, obligations to other people. Other, like you create your, like the friends and the family you have are stuff that you cultivate. Sure, so you, you don't do, so that. at some point, being a man isn't about doing whatever you want to do. Sometimes it's about doing things you don't want to do. Sometimes it's about upholding obligations or virtues that's that you bullshit. have. That, that's that's bullshit. bullshit. All right, then, oh, then you what you're win. describing oh, to me. Do it, don't do it. Is that simple? It, can yeah. I, can I, can what I, can you're describing to me is, is an unruly teenager. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. Just walk away from it. Fuck it, who cares? That's what you're describing. Well, and they, what happens though, hold on, hold on, let me finish one more point. Destiny turned 18 and then gave up on his balls. And then you have no, you don't even know, you have, you don't even know my background to say that. You have no idea who I am or what I've done or well, anything. I mean, we for, I know, let's, let's stay out of the person. Let's stay out of the person. I mean, we can get personal if you want. It's just the worst <laughs> argument to have. It's just no, a, well, basically, your argument is essentially that basically you can do what you want and that you assume your responsibilities, correct? Yeah. And if you don't do, do that, then you're basically, you're letting go of your boss. Yeah. Do you think the people that, let's say, sacrifice their lives uh, to save their countries or do all this other kind of stuff, where they're assuming responsibilities that may be against what they want, but they're doing it because they understand that their responsibility as a man, their duty, is to something higher. And not even themselves, but to something larger. Do you, you accept that that's probably a higher indication of what a man's supposed to be, rather than being able to do whatever the fuck you want? Well, if that's what he wants to do. If he wants to give up his life for his country, that's what he wants. That's his bigger belief not, he's a master about, of his own universe. It's not about giving up your life to a country. It's that if you are a man, you understand that you have obligations to your family and to your community that are going to overrule things that you want to do. A, a man that does whatever he wants to do, to do, that's a weak man's idea of a strong man. It's a guy that walks out on anything, doesn't give a fuck about anybody, and does whatever the fuck he wants because he's only in the selfish pursuit of his own happiness. This is a guy that's never going to have a real wife. He's never going to have real friends or family because everybody's going to look at that dude as a teenager that's going to drop everything and quit when life gets too hard like the, all the tests all the tests of being a real man are about doing the things that you don't want to do when you most don't want to do them everybody that is an adult that has integrity will tell you if that it's righteous, if it's righteous but a lot of the stuff that you think are like doing stuff you don't want to do like putting on a mask or like wearing a seatbelt and then injecting another yeah, whatever putting on a mask and wearing a seatbelt these are these that's are the real, these are the that's everyday real. things these are the everyday that's what things told, that's what you're told by the government and by the higher ups <laughs> as a real man your idea of a real man is brainwashed you're saying words like toxic to me yeah, I'm t I'm saying words like I'm saying words like toxic to you because when you're you can't have God in your mouth right after talking about fucking 20 women by the time you're 23. Those two things are fundamentally incompatible with each other. So of course I'm going to call you toxic. Okay. But I wouldn't I'm not the one calling you toxic. It's going to be the woman that you want when you're 27. She's going to be the one. It's going to be the woman that you want when you're 27. She's going to be the one that's calling you toxic and her father's going to be the one that's calling you toxic. And that's you. the problem and, and, and also you in this call i don't care and that like, much it's just funny for me i don't care but i'm saying I'm, I'm telling you that that's the future that's waiting for you okay fine but also i've noticed in my life like with my experience with women is women actually like toxic guys yeah 22 year old instagram women like toxic guys the types no, of women no, that the types no, of women that no, like the toxic guys are the no, same no, types of women that you're making fun of every no, day on your show no, no the, my longest relationship was uh she was like five six years older than me she wasn't american and she thought it was like toxic and problematic, all those like nonsense words that you're using, uh -huh. but she never left. She never left. Yeah, well, she left I, you because know. she had to leave because of like, um, because of visa restrictions and stuff like that. She had to go, but <clears throat> I was- Why did you, why did you- This is triggering, I'm, I can't believe you'd say that. And then they stay, you know? That's just, they like, they like being in that. They like living in that. They why like, didn't you, why didn't you marry her? Yeah. Because I'm too young, I don't want to get married yet. And also she's older and stuff like that. And she's- She's older, so you were dating her? You had no intention of marrying her? How is that Christian? How is that godlike? What's the point? I'm not Christian. Well, so what? Why, so then wait. Then why talk about God or who? Which which God are you talking about? God is is, a, is an idea to me. So I'm not religious. Yeah, I'm not okay. Religious. Okay. So, so here. So religion. here's the second part. Okay. People people that won't even call themselves Christian, let alone non-denominational. Okay. People don't even call themselves Christian. You don't have an idea of God. You don't have a relationship okay. with God. You have a word that you throw around to, to try to sneak some of your ideas in under. Because no, following, like, hold on, wait, let me finish, let me finish. This is important, okay? If you wanna follow some well. version of God, you wanna follow some religion, right? You can't just pick and choose the nice parts of it and then apply those in a way that thinks makes you look better, right? In that case, you're wearing religion like a, like a suit. 
You, you, you're just wearing it like a convenient piece of clothing. You could take, no, t- put, yeah, put it on it. and take off whenever you want to. You, can, no, you can't tell me, no. if you can't even tell me like a, 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 a faith, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, you can't even tell me any of that, let alone domination. You can't tell me that you have a religion. Who do you even pray to at I night? I like ideas of all religion. All religion I like. That's, you, you have nothing. You, you don't have a religion. Okay, well, just say. You're getting triggered. Relax. I'm bro. not triggered at all. I don't, I, I don't have a Let him go. Yeah, okay. I like, I like ideas of all religions. I read all of them. And prayer to me is meditation, is reflection, is thinking. And so, like, the idea, I like to sit down in church sometimes, but I don't subscribe to any religion because I see the same thing as you putting on a mask and trusting the government. It's subscribing to a bigger system that I don't want to be a part of. I don't want to be controlled by anybody. I don't want to have to be, like, a soldier for any ideology because, like, they're wrong a lot of times. There's inconsistencies in every religion. But I like ideas of all of them, and I believe in the idea of God. But it doesn't mean that I'm inconsistent because you you grew up Christian and I don't follow what you believe in. Yeah. So you don't believe in an idea of God. There's a convenient scapegoat you have when you want no, to preach some shit. In, I believe in my idea of God. You, ha- you don't have an idea of God. You didn't invent God yourself. You heard it from somebody, right? Like, yeah, you can't I tell me any holy I book. You can't tell religious. me You can't tell me any holy book you read. You haven't read any of the religions. That's not true. I've read the Bible. N- number one, really? Yeah. Then why wouldn't you be a fan of the Christian God? How have you read the Bible, but you decided that God's not good enough for you? Because I find inconsistencies of it, and some of the stories seem nonsensical to me, like Noah's Ark and parting the Red Sea. It seems like fairy tales a lot of the time. But I like some of the lessons that are in there, but I don't subscribe to anything completely. Sure. Then why I'm not just say, then don't say, ideas. then don't say you're religious, say you're spiritual. That's all you are. You like crystals. That's what you're basically saying. No, crystals are stupid. Why? That's, That's what you're telling me. You're, you're worshiping crystals. You're picking and choosing things that you like from the Bible, what and you're you saying, I like about? these. What, just what I what said. What are you talking about? What part doesn't make sense to you? What, what, is, what does crystals have to do with believing in God? Crystals are, some women like to grab some wild shit, they put it on their counter and say, you know what, these things have meaning to me. I think this quartz is gonna make me happy. And that's what you've done. You said, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, there's a couple of cool stories in there, but I don't know anything about the Old Testament. I don't know anything about the story of Moses. I don't know the religious significance of any of these stories, but I'm gonna pick and choose the parts that I think are the coolest. I'm gonna ignore everything else. That's not being religious, and that's not having a relationship with God. I'm that's being religious. a child and picking and choosing the things that feel best for you. Person. To be clear, being religious is just subscribing to a religion or being associated heavily with a religion if you don't sus- subscribe to any religion then you can't you can still believe in god <clears throat> sure that would make you spiritual though it wouldn't make you religious yeah but if okay. you believe in god part of an obligation to god is not just it's not just the positives that you get from whatever spiritual fulfillment you think you're after it's also the virtues that you have to subscribe to and by definition believing in god means that you can't be a man who does whatever he wants to do because part of being virtuous is denying yourself some of those baser urges there's a reason why there are deadly sins and a lot of those sins right things like pride or greed or lust are some of the things that you're preaching to your audience every single day they have to go after your whole idea of seeing a building and wanting it is literally a violation of what the ninth commandment thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's possessions and you're telling me that's your main drive that i know but that i'm pretty sure that's a pretty ubiquitous thing you're going to find through all religions where they're probably going to tell you you probably shouldn't be envious of other people's shit and that is your main engine for what is making you a better person it's not to be a better servant to god it's not to be a better person for your wife or for your family your friends it's to buy shit oh oh okay all right well i said i've said in this call i've told you that it's not materialism that's not the ultimate goal i know you said it but I explained the master of the universe thing, but you want to apply your materialism thing to me really bad. I'm not applying it. You're the one in the beginning of this call. Just anybody can go back and check. Don't believe me. You said that a a, a successful man is a guy that can buy houses, has a lot of women, and can get cars. And you said the same thing to Abba. The capability to do whatever he wants to do, that's a real man. He's not controlled by anybody. That's what I said. I just want to... Okay, I'm I'm cooling down. Okay, (laughs) sorry. You're getting a little triggered, Destiny. I'm not triggered at all, but I'm being really hard on you, guys. Sorry. You're getting a little triggered. Earlier, I caught a stray shot because I think you guys were talking and you were like, uh, I was telling Abba that I don't subscribe to the idea that everyone can be rich, but that anyone can be rich. Is that correct? So your estimation, Sneeko, is not that everyone can be rich at the same time. It's that if someone tries, they can do it. Anybody can be rich. Okay. Yes, okay. That's a very simple statement. That's fair, true. Fair, fair. But you also recognize that's only for a minority of people that can be rich. It's not everyone that can be rich at the same time. Correct. Yeah, anybody can be rich. Okay, perfect. So my question is, if you're doing this on these platforms and you're trying to spread the truth to as many people as possible, but you also acknowledge that not everyone who follows your advice can be rich at the same time, what do you say to the rest of the people who won't be able to have access to those resources? That's tough. That's tough. Okay, so so for the vast majority of your audience, that's tough. But for the ones who worked hard enough and made it, well, they're the only ones who kind of get to be content and be men in that sense. Yeah. In that sense. Yes. Okay. So you don't think that because you're leaving behind so many people that your philosophy is not good for the masses? They don't have to be left behind. You just told me they are, and you said that's tough. They don't have to be left behind. They can still work and go get it. If you have an internet connection, you could be rich. <laughs> but you just said not everybody will be rich. You just said, uh, you, not everybody will be rich. 
I, I just want you to hear, here's, you've just told me that not everyone can be rich at the same time. We both agree. Cool. I then asked you, what about the rest of the people who can't be? What do you say to them? And then afterwards, you've told me that's off. That's off. So work harder. You can still get it. It's not too late. It's never too late. Okay. What's so hard to understand about that? <laughs> I think that, so let me end on a positive note, okay? I think that the, the better message that I would send to people is by the time you're 16, 17, 18, you probably figured out you have a couple of unique talents and things that you can do better than most of the other people around you. What you should do is you should try to work on the things that you're best at. Find a way to turn that into a career so that you can make enough money to provide for yourself and hopefully a family. And the skills that you need to practice through your teenage and early 20 years is the skills that you think you need for the rest of your life. So if at 30 or 35 or 40, you see yourself as having a lot of friends and a close family, then when you're in your 19, 20, 2021 phase, you need to practice maintaining friendships and maintaining family. Those are the things that you should be working on. Because from 20 right. to 30, if you spend your whole time carving a statue inside of yourself that looks like a man trying to climb a $20 million building, that's going to be the person that you are when you turn 30. You should spend your whole life working on those virtues you have, working on the talents you have, and doing what you can with what you've got. And then by the time you're 30, you're going to find that magically you've wound up exactly where you want to be because you've spent your whole life building towards it. If you build towards something else, you're not going to have what you want at the end of that road. In my opinion, uh, sneaker opinion. Well said, sneaker. What, what what is your opinion uh, in closing? If you have any. Let's go get this shit, bro. Let's go get it. <laughs> get this money. Let's go get it. Let's get. Let's go get this money. Let's go get this bread, bro. Let's go get to it. <laughs> How did you? What did you originally get banned from YouTube for? What did they? Did they ever tell you? Was it just because you were doing push-ups or? Uh, Coco misinformation and nudity, and there were no. They didn't say. They said just reinstated my content. They said it didn't violate it, but that's there. You yeah. go, Destiny. I mean, you were banned on Switch too. I, I yeah, it's all, it's all part of the Switch, bullshit. Yeah, it's 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 important to like open your eyes up to stuff like that. If you have an opinion that goes against their agenda, that should be enough, in my opinion, to wake people up. The fact that they try to take me down for nudity and misinformation about a about Coco is just nonsense, and that should be enough to be like, huh? If I can't even speak against the programming and they're banning me for it, then maybe it's true. Do you um? Do you have an MCN? Uh, no. Oh shit! Okay. If you uh, obviously, I don't, I don't even know how big you're on YouTube, but if you're doing your stuff, um, the only benefit to having an MCN, you said you had connections before, but like getting like getting sometimes MCNs get you really high connections up on YouTube. So when your shit gets like banned for bullshit reasons, you've got like a dude that you can call and be like, hey, I need you to fucking talk to the people that, that are the head of like. They would ever, I don't think that they would ever sign me. Maybe you could. I'd be able to find you if you get a big enough channel. Think I think they're gonna think I'm toxic. No, I, the MCNs are like independent of YouTube. They're just like multi-channel networks. They just manage a bunch of channels. So if you've got like yeah, bigger they, YouTube they, friends, they take a cut. Yeah, I well, they might take a cut. But it might be worth it they because will sure. But it might be worth it because for people like you, if you are getting banned for bullshit or whatever, you can reach out to a dude and you can say like, "Hey, I need you to see like what you can do at YouTube to escalate this shit." Because it's really scary when you start getting banned and shit, and you don't have a person to talk to. You're like at the mercy of YouTube's bullshit system, and you're like, "Fuck, that's like super scary." But at least that's or at least it's super scary to me. Yeah, we're. I mean, if you uh, have a connect for it, that'd be dope. But, um, yeah. Okay. Well, listen. Uh, any thoughts? Any thoughts, Abba? Uh, I think on mine, I was just enjoying listening to you guys. I think you guys had a spirited debate on both sides. So for me, on on the outside, I was just listening, and it was cool. It was cool to watch other people just do it in front of me. So yeah, Your camera wasn't working the whole time, Destiny. This the stream was just like my dumb head. Oh, well. you could just probably edit it in afterwards in post production by taking from his stream. Yeah, so. I'll do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, listen, guys, I won't keep you. I know Destiny's got another stream with uh, the two uh, conservative chicks, so uh, I'll let him go do that. Yeah, well, hey, you I, guys uh, have fun. Thanks a lot for the combo. I appreciate it. These are like hard combos, so like I have a mad, mad respect for you, even if we again. disagree. Let's then two oh. weeks or three weeks or something like that. I'd like the, I was thinking a lot about the the last debate we had, mm -hmm. and this one too. I think I'm gonna think about. All right, so, well, hey, good luck, man. I'll see you later. Peace out. Take it easy. Peace, Peace Abba. Jeez, damn, dude, the spirituality shit has given me like the narrative structure to work around, <laughs> like hardcore. I feel like I can. Uh, I feel like I can contextualize a lot of my ideas and I have like vehicles for them now. Like before I had like a whole bunch of bags and shit that I thought were really good, but now I have like a, um, I've got like a car to drive in to like head to different places with it. I feel like I can hammer points home like really, 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 really well.